Transfigured on the Mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. This morning, my brothers and sisters, on this great feast of Saints Cosmas and Damien, the unmercenary doctors, we hear a gospel that is very parallel to the story of the unmercenaries. Now our temptation at first is to hear this morning's gospel and hear about this very wealthy man who was being tormented after he died as if the story is just about money. Although the story does include an important aspect of our financial wealth as people of Christ, we can take the story, especially when combined today with the Feast of the Unmercenaries, Cosmas and Damien, and we can understand that the story is really about the gifts that God has given us. Today, we honor two doctors who took their own resources, their own wealth, and they helped and healed other people, free of charge, expecting nothing in return. Even the hymn that honors them, freely they have given, freely they have received. And so my brothers and sisters, the time has come for us to become unmercenaries in our society. Not just doctors, not all of us have medical training, but all of us have received gifts from God. Every single one of us has received a natural talent, a gift from God that He expects us not to keep to ourselves, but to help other people. And that's the connection to this morning's gospel. You see, the rich man had everything he ever dreamt of. He lived in a big palace, I'm sure. He had servants. And yet, he kept it all to himself. And when he died, he realized the error of his ways. He was then being tormented by God, but by then it's too late. And the example then of Saints Cosmas and Damien, they also had great wealth, but they didn't keep any of it for themselves. They gave everything they had for other people. And that's a great challenge for us. Our society needs us as people of God. Our society needs the gifts that God has given us, whether they are financial gifts, because that is also a gift from God, or talents. And again, I'm not speaking just about doctors. Lawyers fall into this, mothers, fathers, accountants, teachers, anyone who has a gift, anyone that God has given something to to be able to help others. The time has come for us as Christians to offer that to the people. Imagine how different our society could be if every one of our Orthodox Christian professionals offered just one hour a week free to the poor. Imagine if all of our doctors and nurses will keep the example with Cosmas and Damien for a moment. Imagine if all of our nurses and doctors volunteered enough time for us to have a free clinic so people could come just simple things get their blood pressure taken get their teeth cleaned we know how important that is 
Imagine if all of our lawyers, okay, we're going to go beyond Saints Cosmas and Damien. Imagine if our lawyers offered one or two hours a week through the church so that people could get important legal advice. These are the gifts that God has given us. Last week, we spoke about gifts that God has given us and whether or not we allow God to use those gifts. Remember the story of the pigs. Here we are, another example. What are we going to do with the gifts that God has given us? Are we going to keep them to ourselves and end up tortured like the rich man? Who? I always like to remind people, the gospel just says some rich man. We don't even know his name. He was so unimportant, we don't even know his name. Or are we going to be known as Cosmas and Damien, that we took the gifts that God's given us to help other people. We're at a crossroads in our community, my brothers and sisters. We all know that this has been a very difficult year because of COVID. I know personally that many of you have struggled in your own businesses because of the pandemic. I know that even those of you who are property owners have struggled because the businesses who are normally renting from you were unable to pay rent. I know this has been an incredibly difficult time. But our church, my brothers and sisters, is at a crossroad. Today at our parish assembly meeting, we're going to review a budget for the year 2021. And it is very difficult to look at that budget and not wonder how it's going to be done. We are going to need each and every one of us. Whether we are here today or not here today, it doesn't matter. We are going to need each and every one of us to dig deep into our pockets with our financial resources and to offer our talents and our time to the church and to the ministries and to those people who need us. This is one of those years, my brothers and sisters, where God will look and evaluate us. What did we do for those who needed us? This is our moment to become unmercenaries in our life. This is our moment for God to look at us with joy and to say, well done, good and faithful servant. I have given you a little. I'm going to give you even more now so you can honor and help others. That's what this morning's gospel offers us. A challenge and hope. if we accept the challenge and a warning if we do not. But we have been challenged by God. It's time for us to become earned mercenaries with the gifts that God has given us and to help everyone who needs our assistance. The church, our neighbors, even complete strangers because there is a great need now and coming God has given us what we need to accomplish that gift glory to God for all things as far as they could bear it Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida we depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.